you guys, I finally did it. I made the bed of fish sorority. Okay guys, I'm bailing this huge tank. This is my 60 gallon aquarium that I've spent so much time on and I hope it looks amazing to you guys. I'm, I'm gonna move out of the way. Don't worry, there'll be a huge cinematic of this tank in a couple seconds. But before this video starts, uh, thank you for everyone that watched the last video. You guys liked it a thousand times in less than eight hours. Boom! That's like the most amount of likes ever in that amount of time. Alright guys, uh, sh cinematic. I'll be back in a sec, but yeah, cinematic. <laughs> just a short cinematic of the tank but as you can see it is beautiful and I guess it is not just a betta fish sorority because I did add some neon touches to the tank also guys I should be getting a lot of shrimp from my friend Rob from flip aquatics that should be happening soon also a sky bridge between the two Ooh, I can't spoil that but yeah look forward to those videos as well as in the next couple weeks I'll be releasing these videos like how I set up the tank I'll also be releasing videos on the plants also when I got the betta fish I got four of them currently I'm planning on getting a couple more um, I just want to see how they started out. I got one Dumbo ear, um, also two-ish adulter ones and one baby one. So that's pretty cool. Also, I had tons of plants. And also, my boy Corey from Aquarium Co-op, who might be coming to the fish room in May. He actually also sent me some plants for this. Also, I've been using plants from, from HL Plants. And you guys can find all the links down below for them. Also, guys, thank you for everyone that downloaded the app in the last video. I released it on Android. Apple should be coming in the next two weeks. So, yeah. Oh, there's a beta. There's, there's another one. That's the red one. I don't think I recorded that on the first cinematic. But yeah, I, I haven't really kept Neon Tetris that much. Um, I think I kept them when I was younger, but recently I haven't had them, so I was like, I might as well get them. They are pretty cool fish. They also really look good in big schools. So I have six of them. I might want to get more, too. I haven't really seen any aggression with them. I think the Dumbo area is actually chasing one while I said that. Filtration for this tank, I might make a video on it, but it's mainly just sponge filters. I have two on this side, two on this side, but the two over there are not connected yet. Also, I have a wave maker. I also have a beams work LED light. And if you want the full specs on this, you can check that out on my blog or my app, Challenge the Wild, or challengethewild.org. But yeah, this tank is amazing. And also on the top, if you couldn't see the plants, I'm actually trying to make a pristine tank with no duckweed. Because as you guys know, I have duckweed, sylvinia, red root floater, water lettuce, and other plants in all my other floating tank plants. But I wanted to have this one pristine and only water lettuce and sylvinia. Also, as you can see, it's pretty crispy. I mean, there are some water stains on it. But I think it looks really, really good. Also, I installed an LED strip in the bottom of the tank. I don't really keep it on. It might be stressful for the fish. Also, I don't know. It's it's pretty cool, though. There is a lot of driftwood in here, and that is because I want to be able to get some pleco. I'm going to be transferring my long fin bristlenose pleco from my 20-gallon into this tank and hopefully getting a couple more, maybe breeding them. That would be amazing. I have spider wood. I also have this huge piece of chola wood. Or choya. Choya. That's how someone told me to pronounce it. I also have some Malaysian driftwood in the back and a huge variety of plants. Now, the main plants in here are green camboa and also Red Ludwigian. Those are actually plants I sell in my store. I also have um, Jungle Vals. Um, I got some Mexican Maple Leaf, which is a cool plant I've never kept. I found it at my pet store. I got two other ones from my local pet store, which is really cool. Also, I propagated a sword for my 90 gallon, and I have some other plants and stuff, but you'll be seeing all these in the next cinematic, so I think the tank looks really good. It has been a lot of work, a lot of preparation. I've spent uh, so much time waiting for this tank, and it's finally released. And you can see we have we have flags in the background. Hopefully I'll be getting some flags. Actually, if you have a flag from your country that you're watching this or from the state you're watching this, feel free to send it to my P.O. box. Link, link down below. That'd be really cool because I'm, I feel like a lot of people ask me about it and it's, it's kind of my unique way of showing that we are a hashtag worldwide challenger nation. Also, some big updates behind me. I can't spoil this because I hate spoiling things because I feel bad because they're supposed to be big surprises. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Make sure you look forward to me getting my betta fish later. It would mean a lot if you like this video and also if you share it, that means so much. Hashtag Challenger 50,000, hopefully by March. Actually, I'm, we might be shooting for April, I don't know, because I haven't been uploading that much. And uh, one other thing, actually two other things. I got this little light bulb 
and I'm gonna have a poll. Should I turn this into an aquarium or should I turn this into a micro terrarium? The poll will be up here and also comment if I should turn this light bulb into a terrarium or a mini aquarium. That would be really cool. It kind of could be like the wine glass. And another thing, ooh, wild. Let's see what we have in here. Yo guys, we just released a new product. It's called Velvet Betta Bites. These are actually little cups of food for your betta fish and it's named after Velvet My Betta Fish. You can check these out from wildpetsupply.com. I ship them out myself, yeah. It's pretty cool. But yeah, they're floating food. I use them in this tank. It would mean a lot because this tank was not free. It costs money to make, or you can hit subscribe. Whatever you'd like to do, thank you guys. I guess I'll just sign off now and do the cinematic, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you on the Flippy Flop. See you all later. Bye.